This is part two of the orientation to charts, dealing with the statistic of document variables chart and the statistic of subcodes chart. Remember that other videos in this series show other MaxQDA visualizations, including the interactive word tree, the tag cloud, matrix browsers, and maps. The statistic of document and code variables charts show the frequency information about how documents or codes have been linked to variable values. I'll show you the statistic of document variables chart in this video. Remember that variable values applied to documents can be used to capture any factual information about whole documents, which is relevant when the document represents a unit of analysis in the study. In this project, some of the data we're working with are survey responses, which were imported from a spreadsheet using MaxQDA's special import operation. The import process created a separate document for each survey respondent, in which their responses to each of the four open-ended questions in the survey are contained. You can see that on display in the document browser for respondent 3, and in the document system you can see that we've got the survey document group open with all of the respondent documents in there. So we have 191 documents in the survey document group, and you can see the content of one of those documents displayed in the document browser. Variable values were applied to these documents as part of the survey import process, and are visible in the overview of documents variables window. I'll just activate the survey group before opening up the list of document variables. There you can see the variables. And as you know from the video about variables, if I go to this view and choose only to display activated documents, then I get a view focused in on the survey documents. You can see that some of the variable values capture socio-demographic information about each survey participant. For example, their employment status, their marital status, and whether they live in an urban or rural region. But when we scroll across, we also see that there are other variable values that capture respondents' answers to the closed questions in the survey. For example, how secure they feel in their jobs on a scale of 1 to 5, whose fault they think the financial crisis was, and various other questions. The statistic of document variables chart can usefully be used to generate a visualisation of the sample in relation to these characteristics. So I'll just open that for you. And you can see on the right hand side that I've selected four variables to look at. Two of them are socio-demographic characteristics, age group and region, and the other two are answers to the closed questions. I'm making sure that I'm only looking at activated documents, the survey document group. So when I click OK, I'm focusing in on what I've asked for. Initially, I get a table showing frequency and percentage information for each variable value, one variable at a time. At the moment, we're looking at age group, but I can use the arrow to move across to the next variable. I can also visualise the information in a chart by clicking on this icon here. And you'll see that I can visualise that in various different views. And there are many options along the top here for changing what you see in the chart. For example, I can change to percentages and I can change the colour palette that I'm using. Again, like all other charts, I can choose to print or export this visualisation to work with it outside of MaxQDA. The statistic of subcodes chart shows frequency information about the coded segments that have been applied to the subcodes in a hierarchy of codes. I've still got the survey document group highlighted because I still want to focus on those responses, but this time I'm going to look at 
the codes that have been applied to particular open-ended question responses. For example, you can see in the code system that respondents' answers to question 2 have been categorised using a series of subcodes, and the same is true for the other open-ended questions. So we're just going to focus in on these codes in the statistic of subcodes chart. I can access that from the codes main menu and you can see that I've chosen three of those responses codes on the right hand side. I'm focusing again only on the activated documents and I'm going to leave the unit of analysis at the coded segments. You'll see here that we're looking at responses to question two and it's picked out the frequency and percentage information for each of the subcodes and I've got the same for the other two codes that I asked for. Again, just like we saw previously, I can get a chart view of this. And again, the same options are available for visualizing this in different ways.